Seems like a, a friendly game of cricket. Sun, Sunday morning cricket, eight o'clock in the morning. So I'm. There's uh, not much traffic on the road now. <laughs> Hello. How are you? Good morning. <laughs> Yeah. So I'm just going down here. There's um, like this overhead rail. Yeah. Okay. I'm from England. I'm from England. Oh, nice. Okay. Nice it all sped out over there as well. Big game. Yeah, I'm just going to this station up here. And I'm only going one or two stations. I'm just going up to the uh, the main railway station, Lahore, Lahore train station. And today we're going on a train journey, about a 10, 10, 12 hour train journey. So it should be fun. Meet a few interesting people on the train. So first stop, Lahore main train station. actually just start to make out over there the station and you can actually see some like very big turrets uh, it's built like a medieval castle because it was built just after the war of independence yeah and, oh. and do you want to take us in the vlog sorry take us in the vlog are okay. you vlogging yes youtuber yeah yeah how many subscribers uh, 10,000. Oh, yeah. very good. Yeah. Take us in the vlog. Okay, what's your name? Ed Chum. Ed Chum. And what's your name? Uh, Gary. Oh, Where nice from? name. England. Oh, oh nice. Yeah. nice to meet you. Yeah, thank you. I'm from Florida. Which place? Really? Florida. Yeah, yeah. yeah. for holiday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice, very nice. Yeah, which, yeah. which places did you visit? It's my second time in Pakistan. Which oh. places did you, did you visit? In Lahore. In Lahore. Yeah. Um, I went to the old city. Uh, I've been, been around story. a lot of places. Oh, you Did you see the one in our city? city? Yeah, I've been to the big boss. Oh, yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you don't mind what's your favorite city? Uh, I think Lahore. Lahore oh, is nice, right? Lahore. Lahore. Your Lord is very best. Okay. Yeah, I like the food. The yeah. yeah. food. Yeah. Yeah. How do you find Pakistan? Very nice. Uh, it's interesting. I mean, it's like. Um, People are a little bit suspicious sometimes, yeah. you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah, foreigner, you know. Hospitable. Yeah. Hospitable. Yeah. Hospitable. Yeah. Yeah. hospitable, yeah, yeah. very yeah. hospitable, yeah. Okay. And friendly, very friendly, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah. Well, nice to meet you. Yeah. Thank, nice you. To meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm only going over here. So as I was saying, as, I, as you see, they're very, very friendly Pakistanis. And you can start to see it now, the station here. It was uh, built uh, just after the War of Independence with the British in about 1857. So they built it like a, like a castle with turrets uh, to ward off any, any future attacks on the city. It's just outside the wall city. As you can see, even the parking where you go in, it's got like uh, turreted gates. But anyway, I'm gonna go just over here, get, a, get a, maybe get a cup of tea and get a few snacks. Uh, and then I gotta go and check out my platform. So I've just come, come for a little bit of breakfast, a little snack. I'm about to try this, it's like milk. And it's got like a little sultana, it's, it's almost like blamange, it could be yogurt. Let's give it a try. Tastes a bit like a combination of uh, lemonade and rice pudding, but it's nice and sweet. It's okay for breakfast. It's got lots of sweets behind the counter, and there's a sign up there. It says 600 a kilo because they're sold by the kilo and I'm buying a, a quarter of a kilo for 150 roots, which is not bad, it's quite cheap, about 50 pence. And I've gone for two big chunky pieces. Uh, it's got like flaked almonds in it, but it's probably very sweet, but it'll be nice for the train journey. <laughs> It's 
So they've got a big old steam engine there in front of the station and a little park here which is very nice check out that steam engine let's go and have a look wow. that's a classic the 205 zbpr all aboard anyway it's very nice check out that uh, train station as i said it was built in the style of a medieval castle and I'm all prepared, just another few minutes and um, I'll be on the train for 10 hours. I'm back in the park again, <laughs> my train's been delayed about an hour and a half they said come back so we'll see how it goes so i'm going to go and sit on this bench over here and have me paratha and egg i'm bien smart so i'm here with a couple of guys i was sat down over there and a few people came over and chatted me and i saw this guy exercising over here and he just came over and he explained to me that he's um, like a like a very professional champion in Pakistan and he said he wanted to give a little demonstration so what what is your name my name is Anwarali Anwali oh how long have you been training my training is uh, 12 years 12 years yeah yeah, yeah. okay <laughs> you want to give a demonstration Okay, I stand back. So he was already working out before, but he's very, very. Can I ask how old are you? <laughs> it's okay. My age. Yeah. My age forty-three. Forty-three. Okay. Okay. Still very young. pretty wild <laughs> so he was saying he does kickboxing okay yeah all right thank you <laughs> shukran <laughs> thank you and what was your name Okay, and we're, you're going on the same train, same yeah, train as me. Yes, okay, Jaffa this guy's Express. going on the on the same same train as me. Jaffa so, Express. all right, thank you, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Finally, the train is arriving on platform four. Oh, we're on platform five. Not sure if we want to go back over there. Anyway, go and check it out. So all aboard the Jaffna Express, quarter past 11. <laughs> so this family just uh, introduced themselves on the platform. The train should be here in a couple of minutes. And where, where are you going? Murray. Murray. Islamabad. 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 Okay, okay. And this is one family. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You're going home or Lahore is your home? No, no, no. no. Hyderabad. 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 So why, why, why are you going to Murray? Just holiday. Yeah. Okay, okay. The train's just arrived and all the other passengers are getting off and I'm on coach one. This is coach two. It is really long. There must be about 30, 40 coaches. But I'm on the economy class. Coach one, which is over here. Seat number five. This is my coach. How he's going? And it's off the rail. I've got to get down here and get up there. And that's the engine up there. Wow. Wild. 
So the assistant train driver has just gone back to his train and he was saying, we're not going to get there till about midnight because it's like a long, long washing line that you've got to take with a heavy load. So that's my coach there. Back sorted out. I believe this is my entrance. Wow. So that's the engine. I just have to come back and connect it. Oops, he's let go again. He's off. So finally we're leaving. As you can see, this is the carriage we're on. But this, this station is said to be a, a legacy of the British Raj rail network. And this is my first experience on the Pakistan train. So it should be quite interesting. I think the door's actually closed actually, so people can't walk up and down the train. feeling this is going to be much better than much more scenic and interesting than the bus journey one of the reasons I got this train journey is because the bus goes through Islamabad and the traffic in Islamabad is, is moves very very slowly so hopefully with the train there won't be as much congestion but it's been it's quite visually visually stunning so far more or less just got out of the city and the countryside is now starting we've got about another 10 hours left and the battery is at about 50 percent so i'm gonna to have to take it easy so far it's a much more pleasant experience than going on an indian train one thing that makes it better is that they see all the, the carriage, so you can't walk up and down, and only just enough people for the seats, which is quite good. So we've just arrived at our second station, Guj, Gujranwala. To see the sign on the platform down there very clean platform but it's moving quite fast the train i'm quite surprised and it's not too like congested in the carriage everything's nice and easy it's quite a mega bridge mega structure it's a little bit almost like salt mines out there but it's very um, right into the countryside now, very green, lots of trees, forests. So just down in front of us, the passengers are trying to open the door. The other side is open. I mean, the train is moving. They just want a bit of fresh air, but it's not something you could do back at home, is it? You get fined. doors have been closed now it's getting a bit chilly a bit cold the sun's just going down it's about five o'clock and we're in the suburbs it's been, it's been driving for, for like oh this this city goes on forever this is Islamabad and um, we're, we're approaching probably about halfway of the journey now and it's been a good five or six hours and we're only halfway so 
we're just approaching Raul Pindi, which is like a kind of like part of Islamabad, it's all part of the same city. It looks like a very big train station that we're approaching now. So there's a lot of people getting off here and I don't know if anyone else will get on but it'd be nice if the carriage is half empty when we leave the station again I've been a little bit poorly I was sat at the other end on my seat but there's a woman sat right in the middle of the train and she's got all the windows wide open as you can see outside it's pitch black and it's freezing uh, anyway she seems to be uh, enjoying the wind up there and I come over here I must have got a bit of wind and I've, I've just thrown up everywhere in a plastic bag I had to chuck it out the window Finally, we've just made it to Peshawar and it's almost about nine o'clock at night. So it's not too bad because I was expecting to get in a lot later. Anyway, it's time to go and look for a, for a place to get my head down now. So see you at the hotel. Flat screen TV ceiling fan desk so this is my five dollar room i've got a little bathroom as well not too bad squat toilet hot water six o'clock in the morning but this is one of the cheapest places to stay in peshwar uh 1500 rupees which is i don't know it's around five six dollars or oh, there's a big hotel next door, the Empire Hotel, but that's about 5,000 rupees, which is about $30. So I'm gonna be here a few days, so keep the budget low. So it's the, the afternoon after my train journey yesterday, and I had no electricity in the hotel this morning. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon now, and the electricity's only just come back. And I've been out for a little walk around my neighborhood, Peshawar. I'm right in the old city, so it's very busy outside, lots of activity, as you can imagine. And it's been an interesting little walk around. I've been offered all sorts this morning. I've been offered drugs, I've been offered ladies. Uh, someone asked me if I want to go to the market to have a look at the sex toys. Anyway, interesting, interesting place. Um, I'm, I'm as sick as a dog today. I've been taking medicine, I've got the flu, uh, I've been vomiting, all because the woman left the window open on the train yesterday and I got freezing cold. Anyway, I'm trying to sort a guide out for the next places that I wanna go and visit around Peshawar because they're not places that you can go alone. And I've been told I have to be careful at the moment because of the current climate. Um, a lot of people are not feeling too happy because of the rising prices in the economy. Not sure what that's got to do with me. Uh, I mean, everyone all around the world is suffering at the moment due to that. Anyway, I'm going to take a little rest. And thanks for watching. It is the end of the video now. Stay tuned and there'll be more on the way.